Hey everybody, I hope this uh, video is able to get uh, broadcast. Uh, it's been about two weeks since um, since the EMP or whatever it was that knocked out the power. And um, I'm holding my own here. Hopefully everyone around uh, the country is holding their own and those that have prepped have done their due diligence and those preps are paying off. However, uh, with all the looting that's going on and the um, <clears throat> widespread violence in certain areas, I decided to try to scan the radio signals uh, tonight around 6 p.m. It's about 7.30 now. And I uh, came across a broadcast that I'll read the text of uh, that's kind of disheartening and... Um, it's very sad. Uh, I'll read the text and then we can discuss uh, what it means, what its implications are, and what we do next. So with that, uh, let me start uh, by reading the text of the broadcast um, regarding the martial law <clears throat> that has been declared. Under martial law, we must take these extreme measures because of the dire situation the country is in. Ignorance of the provisions of martial law will be no excuse for violating any of its provisions. It is the duty of all citizens hearing this broadcast to inform their fellow citizens. We understand there are not that many functioning radios out there right now. Efforts were made to put radios into population centers. However, we know the efforts were not as successful as we would have liked. Again, that is why it is important to pass this info along to anyone you meet. Under martial law, the government has the right to seize certain commodities. As a result, any form of functioning transportation to include cars, trucks, boats, aircraft, and trains will be confiscated. We know this will not be popular, but under the circumstances it is necessary. If you are approached by any law enforcement entity, you must surrender your vehicle to them. <sighs> Additionally, we understand that there are many people in this country that stored food, water, fuel, and other items. Martial law now makes it illegal to hoard anything. If you have more than three days of food in your possession, you must surrender it to the appropriate authority. Any fuel must be surrendered. As any functioning vehicles must also be surrendered, no one will have the need for fuel. That fuel will be needed by those agencies tasked with providing aid. Anyone caught hoarding will be dealt with severely. I again repeat, you must surrender anything more than three days worth. If you cannot find either a DHS or a FEMA representative to turn your commodities over to, you may distribute them to those in your community. The last item that is now outlawed under the Act of Martial Law is firearms. All firearms must now be surrendered to DHS and FEMA agencies. No one will be allowed to be armed. This is being done because of the level of violence in some of our cities and rural areas. Anyone caught with a firearm will be imprisoned. I urge you to, to do keep in mind that while we are under martial law, constitutional protections do not apply. If you are caught with any of the above mentioned contraband, you will be imprisoned. Considering the situation we are now under, imprisonment takes on a new definition. The days of going to jail and sitting around waiting for a court date or going to prison to serve out a sentence are over. If you are arrested, you will be placed into a work camp where you will earn your keep. There is no such thing as a free ride. The rest of the country is going to have to work their way out of this situation, and so will anyone who is arrested. Anyone who refuses to surrender their firearms, shoots at, or kills a federal agent will be executed. <sighs> no long trials and no appeals. 
There simply doesn't exist the means to do these things now. That is why it is of the utmost importance to follow the direction given to you by the authorities. Aid will begin to be distributed as soon as possible. We will focus first on population centers where the resources can reach the most affected people with the limited resources we have. We will reach out to the rural areas as more resources become available, but you must be patient. This will take time, but help is coming. If we all work together, we can overcome this, but we must set aside our differences to do so. There is no more right or left, Democrat or Republican. We are Americans, all of us. And to get through this, we must work together. In the spirit of working together, please turn in all aforementioned contraband. Whenever you do, you will be given relief supplies. We hope this makes it easier to turn in these items. If you know of anyone who is refusing to turn in the contraband, simply notify the authorities, and upon the successful recovery of the contraband, you will be rewarded with additional supplies. Again, we must set aside our differences and work together to get through this. As Americans, we have come together in the past, and we must do so now. If, anyone, if everyone does their part, we will come out of this stronger than ever before. Thank you for your time, and please follow these instructions. That was the transmission that was uh, put out over the airwaves. You may have heard it, you may have not heard it, with the um, all the power being down and spotty communications nationwide. Um, but I'm hoping to get this up there and uh, out to as many people as possible. Uh, I'll try to get back on the air a little later tonight with an update and some more information. Um, thank you and uh, Godspeed.